Hey everyone, uh, just a quick video. I uh, wanted to show our rooster some things you got to watch out for. Um, so if you saw the last video, you saw that we bought a couple of uh, uh, roosters from our neighbors that they needed to get rid of. I'm trying to get to where y'all can see his head. Um, I put him in here with our Rhode Island Red rooster upgrade because he's more laid back. And I figured as young as they were, it would be a little while before they started picking on him. I knew they would pick on him. And again, he's kind of laid back and uh, not much of a fighter. Um, but it, they didn't last as long as I thought. And after uh, about a week, they got him pretty good. Uh, it's hard to see here at the light, but they got him on the back of the neck. He's all right. Most of that's just dried blood that's on his comb. Uh, doctored him up over the last couple days and he's gonna be fine. Um, but again, it's something you need to watch out for and one reason you need to be checking on your animals daily, even if they've got food and water, if something like this could happen. So uh, we did move, went ahead and moved the roosters over into uh, the paddock next door with our other rooster there, Colonel Sanders. He's not to, as laid back and he's not gonna put up with any bullying. So they haven't messed with him. And uh, we went ahead and threw a couple other hens over there. And another week or two when we get the last batch of uh, hens out of the chicken pasture, I add eight more hens to that paddock and so there'll be plenty to go around uh, but if they can't get along then again somebody's gonna have to go but uh, uh, upgrades okay uh, he said they just pecked him on the back of his neck a little bit and uh, uh, came out here and he was hidden up uh, squeezed between one of the nesting boxes and the uh, the wall trying to get away from them but, uh, so we got him over here again by himself with with some hens so he should be all right thanks for watching have a good day girls and boys here's the upgrade a couple days later so looking better up. trying to get him here we could be still for a second come on like I said he's pretty laid back you can just pick him up let's get out here in the light Still got some dried blood on him, but uh, starting to look better. Healing up good. I've been putting some antibacterial cream on him just to so it doesn't get infected. But uh, again, stuff you got to watch out for if you got more than one uh, rooster, especially if you've got one that's kind of easy going and laid back, uh, like Upgrade is here. Um, he doesn't really like to fight back for whatever reason. He likes to run and hide. So. But uh, again, we moved the, uh, the other roosters over there uh, with our other grown rooster, Colonel Sanders. And of course, he's not going to put up with any of that for now. And then we'll have to figure something else out if we're going to keep any of those roosters or uh, make them uh, go into the cock pot. So we'll see how that goes. Here you go, buddy.